Instead, he works his way back free. Granlund, fire score! Hello and welcome to the Puck Drop Chair Podcast. I am your host, John Crawford, along with my brother Howie. Green yet? What? Here for episode <laughs> number 14. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, Howie? Uh, not What's too bad. Nothing? nothing new? Just next, no, nothing. So next week's a short week, though, for me. Oh, is it? Yeah, because I go to Chicago next Thursday. Oh, that's right. Chicago. Chicago is. Um, yeah, so you, you can win uh, free rent for you. For a year. That's right. Or a new car, right? Or something like that? Uh, well, for a year. I don't want that, though. I just want the rent. Yeah, but you can take the car and sell it, and then you can get your... your no, you get, the car, you get the car for a year. Oh, you get it for a year? Yeah. Like, what kind of car is it, though? I don't know. It's probably, <laughs> is it just like that? Probably, probably one of those pink Mary Kay damn Cadillacs oh, or something. Oh, it's like a company car for a year. Kind of, yeah. Oh, I got you. Okay. Yeah. Pink, pink Mary Kay uh, Cadillac. <laughs> nice. I don't know. You might want that. No, I want my free rent. Damn it. Mm. <clears throat> uh, you know, nothing. Not much really new here. Uh, Rogie and I came up with a new sport. We've been playing quite a bit now. I, I sent you the video for. What do you think of that? We call it Fireball. It was pretty riveting, wasn't it? Exciting. Yeah, Lucky went to play that because, like I said, he he would not give the ball back. <laughs> he's one of those. He's one of those. I'll gra- take my toy and leave. He doesn't <laughs> like to play with the toy with you. He what does I mean? if it's specifically the chicken and on the bed. Wow. And it's, he likes tug of war. Okay. Rogie likes anything with a ball. No, he has his little rope balls. He'll play with those too. But that's the same thing. It's he wants to play tug of war with it. He won't drop it to go chase it. So he'll take a tennis ball and you'll have to grab it while it's in his mouth and pull it. Yeah, because if I throw it, he'll just grab it and go straight to the bedroom and <laughs> wait as though I'm going to follow him in. <laughs> he he doesn't know how to bring it back and do it again. Or he doesn't want no, to. No, he doesn't want to. Because he keeps all his toys on the bed. Because I'll gather up all his toys, bring them out to the living room, put them by the bowl, and within 10, 15 minutes, he has everything back in the bed. <laughs> well, Rogi has a little wooden basket. Well, you could see it in that video. His little wooden basket yeah. of toys in the back. That he keeps on the fireplace. But no, his, his basket is my bed. <laughs> <laughs> I have toys scattered all over my bed. Well, Rogie's not good at picking up his toys yet. I mean, he, he lays them all over the place, but... Oh, he picks them up. They just He just puts them back in bed. Right. So they're not, like, all over the house. They're yeah. strictly in my bed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Yep, so I think Arogi is ready for a fly ball. Then. So uh, he, he, he loves the ball, the whole thing, the whole thing about the ball. Which which is interesting because like we were talking about, talking about earlier because you were saying that you wanted to start your own fly ball team. Yeah. And I find it interesting that the cost of starting up a fly ball team is pretty much no different than starting up a world team tennis team. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Although fly ball, the season lasts longer. Yeah, seasons last longer. And And, and fly ball gets televised. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, well. Well, I guess it does get televised. and Yeah, because yeah. they'll show it on like ESPN and stuff. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, fly ball has a television well, World contract. Team Tennis does get televised. It gets yeah, televised. Yeah, for that, for that two-hour season. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. That's hilarious. <laughs> And it's more exciting. Fly balls. More I mean, exciting. even even the Westminster Dog Show gets televised. <laughs> hey, well, you I, guess, yeah. I I could find I find it I could find Westminster Dog Show far easier than a World Team Tennis match on oh, TV. That's, that's true. Yeah, that's true. So so what's that tell you, Billy Jean? <laughs> <laughs> promotion they get is right here on the Puck Drops Here podcast. <laughs> That's true, too. Because <laughs> we talk and about them quite a and, bit. And, and it's free advertising. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid Tennessee. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, do you have any um, hockey news, Howie? Um... Well, only news is uh, we got the All Star game this weekend. Uh, yes, we do. With, with I guess a uh, revised uh, skills competition thing. Or something. Well, I think so. Yeah, I don't know what that. I don't know what they're how they're doing it. So we'll have to see. Yeah. yeah. So we so have that, that going on. Yeah. That should be interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I like the skills competition better than the game itself. Oh, me too. Me too. Uh, I don't know. We've talked about the game thing, you know. Yeah. That we. Yeah. Uh, we we do still have the uh, NHL trade I, deadline I, coming up. Uh, uh, yeah, and yeah, and from from the sounds of it too. Speaking of the trade deadline, it sounds like I've I've read rumors on it. Um. Keep an eye out on what happens with the uh, Rangers. It sounds like they're going to be very active. Really? Yeah. Well, that really doesn't surprise me. Um, Because of where they are sitting right now, but yeah, so I guess they've got uh, I guess quite a few free agents coming. I know Nash is one that might be uh, an option to move. Um, who else was there? Uh, I have to look. I don't remember who all was. But they yeah they they might be very active though come deadline time. Hmm. Um. Yeah, it'll be that's coming uh, February twenty sixth is the deadline, so uh, we should start seeing things happening pretty soon. Uh, then we have the stadium series with Toronto and Washington coming up on March third, my daughter's birthday, and <clears throat> uh, oh, another thing coming up in February, Howie, which we will not see NHL players playing in. Is the uh, Winter Olympics? Uh, we'll get to see some hockey. Oh. Yeah, we'll see how that uh, Korean team does. 
Oh yeah, because they have a unified team. That's now. right. <laughs> so they they might be a team to uh, be reckoned with. Right. Did you see the USA roster? No, I have not. Oh. Uh, there's a couple names on there. Of course, James Wisniewski. You know, he retired from the NHL. Yeah. Uh, Ex Norfolk Admiral. Um, so he's probably the most, at least the most well known for me, is James Wisniewski. You know, of course, he played with Columbus and Carolina and New York Islanders and Chicago. Well, he was brought up in Chicago, right? In that system. And. Uh, who else was on there that I knew? Uh, so, uh, so instead of using college kids, they're using retired players. <laughs> well, they're using a lot from well the AHL, the KHL. Um, oh, okay, minor leagues. Yeah, yeah, that's where they're all coming from now. Semi-pro players. Okay, yeah. I still wish they'd go back and just use college kids and. Yeah, me too. Me too. That's how it should be with it, it, with all of them. It's just, yeah. I mean, that's yeah. what made eighty so so special. I mean, because I mean, you had all those college kids basically going up against pros. Right. Right. So I'm kind of interested to see what the other countries are doing, like uh, Russia. Oh, I'm sure they're using players from the KHL. Wow. Are they going to be that much better than the U.S.? No. Because their they're, they're KHL is not that talented. It's They're probably no different than a minor league team. Uh, and I haven't looked at Canada's roster yet either. But, uh, oh well. Anyway, probably, that's coming up in February. Probably the same thing using minor league, minor league system. Right. And uh, hi, Rogi. Rogi's here. All right. Uh, you want to get into standings here? All right. In Starting the, east. In the Atlantic, topping the division is Tampa Bay uh, with 71 points, followed by Boston with 66, Toronto with 61, Detroit with 46. Quite a spread now between three yeah. and four. And Montreal with 46, Florida with 44, Ottawa with 39, and Buffalo with 37. Um, yeah, that spread is starting to get wider and wider. Or that division, yeah. I mean, you at, at this point, you could pretty much say their top three are locks. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Unless something major happens now before, you know, before the trade deadline. And then, you know, we'll see what goes on. So, jumping over to the Metropolitan, uh, we've got uh, Washington up on top, surprisingly, actually, with 63 points. Followed by Columbus with and Pittsburgh, with both with 57. They are trailed only by one point by... New Jersey and Philadelphia both with 56 <laughs> yeah. Rangers sitting in 6th place with 55 along with the Islanders also with 55 Carolina in 8th with 52 so this this pretty much I, I'd say 2 through 8 is yeah. pretty anyone's tight. Yeah, pretty tight. anyone's game right now so yeah there's there's something pretty tight there yeah and like I, like you were yeah. saying, we should see some activity from the Rangers, um, which can change. Yeah, what I read, yeah, the Rangers it sounds like they're going to be very active. Yeah, so we'll we'll see how that goes. 
All right, let's uh, move on over to the Central. Uh, <clears throat> with Winnipeg on top this week uh, <laughs> with 66 points, Nashville with 65, St. Louis with 63, Dallas with 60, Colorado with 57, Minnesota with 57, and Chicago at the bottom with 53, but still very, very tight division. Yeah, the whole division is still tight. I mean, Chicago could easily come back and still win the division. Oh, yeah, absolutely. This division is just way too tight. It's just, yeah. there's, and with Colorado being in there now, too, I mean, it's... Colorado, be in, man. I'm curious to see if Minnesota does make any moves. Uh, they could. I just, yeah, I know, I know. I, I just don't know who you get rid of. I guess that depends on who you can get. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Moving to the west, in front, surprisingly, almost uh, uh, all year, still. <sighs> Crazy. You have the uh, Vegas Golden Knights with 68 points. They are trying with a good wide margin. Yeah. Being trailed by uh, San Jose with 59 points, Calgary with 57 points. I see your 58 La for Calgary. Or 58 points, yeah. yeah. Calgary 58 points. Your Los Angeles Kings with 57 along with Anaheim also with 57. Yeah. And then again, another widespread through up through six with where Edmonton is sitting with 47 points. Mm -hmm. And they are trailed by Vancouver with 44 and still sitting in the basement getting a neck strain looking up is Seattle. With <laughs> Seattle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. So, yeah, so there you have it. Um, gosh, I, I can't even say anything about my Kings. They're just, I'm wondering if they're going to make some moves. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me. They're they're an aging team. Yeah, the Kings are getting old. Um, they 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 need some youth. So I'm ready for some changes. So, yeah. You know. Yeah, uh, they they got to do something. Yeah, they do. Other than that, Howie, I, I really don't have anything else. We kind of can cut this short if you'd like. Nope, and we are only uh, six months away from uh, World Team Tennis starting that, up again. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. But we just might cover Fireball. <laughs> we're we're going to have to get Fireball going. Oh, you mean Flyball? No, Fireball. Oh, I don't think they're going to televise that. Dog versus human. Yeah. It's a great game. <laughs> we just have to get lucky trained. Go. That ain't going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> He's a good boy. <clears throat> I saw him out in his first snow the other day. Well, he, he does. He does thing. know both English and Russian commands. <laughs> does he really? Yeah, he's bilingual. Yeah, he's bilingual, so he knows he he knows commands both in English and Russian. Wow, that's pretty impressive. All right, <clears throat> just not drop the ball <laughs> <laughs> in any language. Yeah. All right, we'll wrap it up here. Uh, thank you all for listening and watching the show. Uh, you can go out to www.thepuckdropshere.com. Go over to our podcast page and check out our past and present episodes. Um, give us a like on Facebook. We're also on Twitter. Send us an email at John and Howie at, at puckdropshere.com. Uh, we're also on Instagram. Uh, so you can contact us that way. Um, I think that's it. So we will c catch you all next week. 
And Ali, anything else? That's it. No, nope, I'm good. Right. We bid you all. Uh, I do. Baka baka. What? <laughs>